All right, welcome to Bible Movement in the morning for your daily dose of Badger State news. Uh, today we're diving deep into the news that matters to you from the bustling streets of Milwaukee to the tranquil shores of Lake Superior. Let's get started. Uh, first up, in Madison, the state capital, we're seeing significant developments in the state legislature. This week, Governor Tony Evers signed into law a comprehensive environmental bill aimed at reducing pollution along the Great Lakes. This legislation, known as the Clean Lakes Initiative, has been both praised for its ambitious goals and criticized for its potential economic impact on local industries. In Milwaukee, the city is gearing up for its annual Summerfest, which despite some logistical challenges is expected to be bigger than ever. Organizers are promising new stages, a broader range of musical acts, and enhanced security measures that are following last year's incident. Moving north in Green Bay, the community is rallying around the Green Bay Packers as they prepare for their upcoming season. This year, with the new coaching strategies and a draft that its fans buzzing, expectations are high, but it's not just about football. The team is also deeply involved in community initiatives, focusing on youth sports and education. Switching gears to the western part of the state, La Crosse is expecting, uh, they're celebrating a significant milestone in its public transportation system. City just introduced electric buses, marking a step towards sustainability. These buses aren't just eco-friendly, they're also equipped with free Wi-Fi, making your commute a little bit more enjoyable. Over in Eau Claire, local farmers at the heart of the movement towards organic farming. Uh, this shift is not only for the environment, but it's also creating a niche market for local produce. Uh, Eau Claire's farmer market is now uh, one of the largest in the Midwest, drawing crowds from all around the state. Uh, heading up north to the Superior, the city is bracing for an increase in tourism as uh, the fall colors begin to peak. The Tourism Board has launched a new campaign, Autumn in Superior, highlighting the area's natural beauty, cultural events, and historical landmarks. They're expecting a record number of visitors this season. And finally, in Oshkosh, there's a community effort in to revitalize the downtown area, with new businesses opening and historical bu uh, buildings being restored. There's a renewed sense of vibrancy. Uh, the Oshkosh Renaissance Project is not just about physical changes, but also about fostering a community spirit and local pride. And that's your comprehensive look from uh, news all around Wisconsin, whether it's environmental policies, sports, community initiatives, or the beauty of our changing seasons. There's always something happening in the Badger State. Remember to like, comment, and share if you found this update helpful. I'm Max, and I'll be back with more stories from our beautiful state. Until, until then, enjoy the day, Wisconsin. Let me just say, I'm new at this, but I'm going to...